some more? Hey, what's up, Pete? It's Griff here, and I've got a short introduction video for you here. This is going to be to my new Minecraft PC uh, series, and what we're going to be doing, as you can probably tell by down on the left here, we're going to be doing some modded Minecraft, but it's only slightly modded, and there's only like 20 odd mods in it anyway. So what we're going to do is going to have a quick look at some of the mods. Some of them are there anyway, just for intent and purposes, which you need to have going. Bibliocraft, that's awesome. That's going to make decorating houses brilliant. Desks, chairs, lights, uh, shelves, cupboards, ooh, all sorts of different things. Brilliant. Biomes are plenty. What I've done is I've done a, a uh, custom terrain generation on that. So that we will get vanilla mods in. The uh, biomes are a bit bigger. And they don't spawn as frequently. But we'll see how it goes. I've done some test worlds. You get some nice flat areas. You get some really good hilly areas. Mountainous areas in fact. It's almost like amplified. But it's just brilliant. And of course we've got the Biblio woods. Uh, biomes are plenty version to come into that. Then we've got carpenters blocks that's awesome I will show you that in a world in a second uh, we've got twilight forest for a nice adventure area we've got chisel that allows you to uh, change the normal block so you can take a stone block and you can change it into all different styles on it and I'll show you that in a second as well uh, we've got a dungeon pack here as well as roguelike dungeons now what that's going to do is that's going to give us some adventure um, so that whilst you're out adventuring you're going to come across random dungeons and things like that things which are going to be a bit of a task to get to there is also in combination with that there is also a, a mod called special mobs so it makes some of the mobs a bit harder they're a bit tougher some of them are big as well uh, we then got iron chest, which uh, will give our single chest, we'll be able to upgrade them at the cost of materials. So like you turn a wooden chest into an iron chest, and then it increases its uh, spaces within the chest. Uh, we've got ender storage, that's probably more for a multiplayer base thing. But what that does, if you can imagine you take your normal ender chest, and then if you put something in there, Someone else who's thousands of blocks away can then look into their chest of the same version and they could take out what you put in there. Great for uh, trading, etc. Right, so what we're going to do is I'm just quickly going to jump into this world and then I'll show you some of these little things which we can look forward to. Right, as you can see down there we've got one of the biomes of plenty of biomes. Uh, not really quite sure what it is, and uh, it's getting night time. Time to set zero. Woo! That's quick. Right, this is one of the little adventure things which you're going to come across. Uh, this one is obviously in the sky, but there's like villages up there and nine golems and some chests and stuff. Um, these are some of the things you can make with a chisel mod, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is all stone, by the way. You just bring up this chisel here, and as you can see, you got your normal stone, but then you can change it into all of these different types here, and there is quite a variety as well. Right, so we'll go with that one. Then what you got is you got the carpenters, which is this, and if you, this is obviously just the slope, but if you hold shift and then use your mouse wheel you can then go through them uh, there we go and there's quite a few right and what these do is these, these will connect up as you can see so they just connected up it's pretty cool go back here so what you do is like that like that like that that's a nice slope that, that's going to make for an interesting roof and then if you want to put the blocks in there, there, there. How cool is that? That one, with that one, 
Yeah, pretty cool. There. Yeah. Right, then it's not too difficult to break these. What is it? It's probably an easier tool, but if you, even with an iron axe, just take this, break it up, and yeah, you got it back. Right, just give you a quick idea of what we can expect in the biblio as well. Let's just have a quick look here. Come down here, hold. Hold shift and then left click and then that will give you all the biblio items there. So we've got a stall. Uh, if I just get rid of that for the moment. Uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, let's have a desk. Uh, let's have a light. Oh, let's have a desk light as well. Right, so what we've got is got these items here. That will go on there. Hello. Funky door. Pretty cool. Uh, that is a light. If it's dark, you'll be able to see it. Um, and this is the desk. <laughs> How cool is that? You can then put things on there as well, which is pretty cool. So if I just go and. Uh, oh, hang on, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> Perhaps not that one. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, but yeah, it, it's going to be really good. Look at that, that's even a fancy workbench. Okay. So yeah, we'll have some dungeons to explore. The special mobs are probably going to kill us quite a bit. Um, it should be fun. Let's have a quick scout around here so we can get an idea of the terrain that we're going to be coming across, okay? As you can see, we've got hilly areas. Uh, nice lush looking areas uh, so flash areas my FPS is going to drop a little bit here because I am recording and obviously I am generating terrain it is on a single player so here we go look a mystic grove look how cool that looks so if you're interested in keeping an eye out for this series it is ever so slightly modded vanilla it's just based around a bit more adventure than vanilla um, a bit more different biomes than vanilla just something to keep you interested more especially with the building side so you can kick your houses out looking really nice put some slopes and that on them so yeah if you're interested obviously subscribe keep a lookout for episode one hoping to get it out shortly if everything works out, this is going to be a test base of this kind of pack. I might put it on a server and let others try it out. And we'll see how we go. Cheers for watching, peeps. I'll catch you later.